गुड इवनिंग फ्रेंड्स स्टडी विद अपाल इंजीनियरिंग एंड जनरल जियोलॉजी पर विन सिंह बुक सो इन चैप्टर नाइन द स्टडी ऑफ मिनरल्स फॉर्म इट इज़ द इंटरनल एटॉमिक अरेंजमेंट ऑफ अ मिनरल्स विच इज अ मैनिफेस्टेड आउट वर्डली इज बाई डेवलपमेंट ऑफ जियोमेट्रिकल शेप्स और क्रिस्टल्स करेक्टर्स वन ऑफ द फॉलोइंग थ्री टर्म्स में डिस्क्राइब्स द फॉर्म्स ऑफ अ मिनरल क्रिस्टलाइज वेंस द मिनरल्स अकर इन द फॉर्म ऑफ वेल डिफाइंड क्रिस्टल्स एज रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय ए क्रिस्टल फेसेस एंड एंगल्स और व्हेन इट सो परफेक्ट क्लीवेज व्हिच इज आल्सो इंडिकेटिव्स ऑफ परफेक्ट एटॉमिक अरेंजमेंट क्रिस्टलाइंस व्हेन वेंस वेल डिफाइंड क्रिस्टल्स आर एब्सेंट बट द मिनरल सो अ क्लियर टेक्नो क्लियर टेंडेंसी Towards crystallization, as evidenced by development of small grains, each of which is uh, virtually is uh, an incipient crystals amorphous. Neither the crystals face uh, nor a cleavage is uh, seen. So there is no evidence uh, of orderly arrangement of atoms. Uh, miscellaneous sense besides uh, the above properties, uh, minerals may show some specific and rare qualities uh, that often so uh, becomes. Uh, helpful in their identifications some of these special properties are explained below so magnetism some minerals have natural magnetism in them so to an appreciable extent example magne magnetite a few other minerals may be only a uh, feeble li magnetic examples uh, spinel uh, tourmalines uh, electricities and in some minerals uh, and electric electric charge may be developed by uh, high heating so they, these are uh, called pyroelectric uh, minerals and example tourmalines uh, bore site and quartz in some other minerals the same effect of developing a charge may be produced by applying a pressure this group is termed as a piezo electric example tourmalines and quartz fluorescent a few minerals have the property of glowing or emitting light when they are exposed to radiations this property is called fluorescence and minerals fluorite so it phosphorescence it is a similar to fluorescence in essential characters but in this case light is emitted by mineral not during the act of exposure of uh, to radiations but after the substance is transferred rapidly to a dark place fluorite quartz will might and diamond source phosphorescence under different conditions of visibility minerals behaves differently on heating to elevated temperature some uh, some fuse melt easily at lower temperatures whereas others requires very high temperature a scales of fusibility has been suggested by von cobel it consists of six minerals arranged according to temperature of fusion sensitive night 525 degrees celsius natro natrolite 965 degrees celsius almandine 1200 degrees celsius actinolite 1296 degrees celsius orthoclase 1300 degrees celsius and bronzeite 1380 degrees celsius optical property general such a property of uh, minerals which are uh, related to the behavior of light while being uh, transmitted through are uh, reflected uh, from from it uh, are grouped under optical property and they are of a greater significance in the determin uh, determinative mineralogy and are highly useful in identifying individual minerals occurring in very small so physically inconspicuous grain size as for example in rocks minerals occurring in very small so uh, physical prop in conspicuous sorry grain size as for example in rocks study of optical property of minerals required that the minerals must be first cut into a, as a thin so, as a possible a section so that light is easily transmitted through it or if the minerals is of an opaque nature so light can be uniformly reflected from its surface such a such a section is called a thin section of a minerals or rock these sections are prepared carefully and mounted on glass slides the student should have a working knowledge of basic properties of light and should also be conversant 
with the properties of glasses, mirror lenses and prisma. Following is only a very brief review of a common phenomena connected with the light which are used for investigating the optical property of mineral. Light it is defined as electromagnetic phenomenon involving essentially of waves, the light waves which are caused by certain periodic change in the energies given off by so vibrating electrons and ordinary light and in such a light the vibrations take place in all possible direction but within a plane essentially at right angles to the direction of propagation. The ordinary light also referred as white light has a visible spectrum of seven colors with violet beings at one end and red being at the other end. Polarized light when it is possible to obtain a conditions in which the light vibrates only in one direction in the planes of vibrations the light is said as polarized sometimes plane polarized and the conditions or process as polarization. Polarized light can be obtained by uh, one of the three methods by reflection, by absorption and third the refraction. For obtaining polarized light by reflections a smooth surface is used to reflect the light. This method however gives only the partial polarization. In the absorption methods materials having a capacity of selective absorption for light are used to obtain polarized light a plate cut from synthetic materials polarized or from natural minerals tourmaline will also only uh, sorry will allows only that light to pass through it which vibrates along the particular directions in the refractions methods for obtaining the polarized light use in made of a special uh, prism named after their inventors as a nicole prism and a herent prism the nicole prism is actually a cleavage piece of mineral calcite also called iceland island iceland spar that uh, has been specially ground at age cut diagonally into two polished and cemented together in such a way that an incident rays falling on it uh, gets doubly refracted explained below only is one of the resulting two refracted rays the extraordinary ray is allowed to pass through the prism the adherents prism are also similar to nickel prism in principle but are similar in constructions construction these are rectangular in shape and the prism made for polarizing the light on the basis of refractions are very commonly used in the optical instrument these are commonly referred as nickel whether they are of first or second designs refract refractive index it is known that uh, when a rays of light passes from one medium to another of so different densities, it uh, gets uh, refracted from its normal course. The ratios between the sign of angles of incidence and refraction is expressed by the terms refractive index. It is given by the relations n is equal to sign i upon sign r. So here, where n is a refractive index i angle of incidence and r is angle of refraction when the two me media are air and the minerals the values obtained indicate the refractive index of the minerals with respect to air these are the values commonly mentioned in the book thus n for glass is equal to 1.608 for garnet is equal to 1.75 and for diamond is equal to 2.0 42. So it may be mentioned here so that according to the law of refraction, the velocity of light in a substance is proportional to the re reciprocal of its refractive index. Minerals with higher refractive incidence will allow the light to pass through them at a lower, velo uh, lower velocity. Compared with mineral of lower refractive indices, the refractive index of a mineral is an important property studied in thin sections under a microscope. It helps in identifying a minerals from other minerals, especially when they are lying in close contact as in a rocks. Many different laboratory techniques are available for this purpose. Thank you.